Hey you, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for April 17th, 2022. The character of the Ironclad and the mod for Star Chimera, you're starting deck as a fusion of all characters. Order, whenever you add a card to your deck, add two additional copies. You can no longer remove cards from your deck at the Merchant. And Midas, enemies drop 200% more gold, but you can no longer submit the rest sites. All right, a Hoarder Midas run. That should be interesting. Uh, oh, I see Sita here with 1780. Pretty good score. Let's review the scores from yesterday. Thanks, everybody, for the comments. Sounds like, as I predicted, I just got lucky. And um, a lot of people did pretty much the same thing as I did, with some exception. Not an exception, but additions, right? So Hooper uh, basically went for the same strategy and was able to get another about 25 points more. Flick, Nick, MST, uh, Walker, and Vorpal were all were around the same place. And others who, um, yeah, Sita and I thought there was somebody else yeah steven here 15 uh 48 uh tried to go for the same strategy but got a little unlucky here and there so pretty pretty good run yesterday i'm pretty happy with yesterday's score all right let's move on to today's run so today it's just going to come down to getting as many collector bonuses as possible i see a three lead path which is good on the right side was one two three four five question mark rooms that's not too bad yep let's get started Okay, and then I should read out the Chimera cards. We got Eruption, Bash, Survivor, Zap, one from each um, character, and then three Strikes and three Defense. Uh, but these starter cards will get drowned out by all of the, by all of the Hoarder cards that I'll get. Uh, I do think early on it might make sense to enter Wrath, um, but who's my final boss, by the way? It's the Guardian. Okay, so I might even consider removing that card just because it's going to be really difficult to use. Uh, let me actually try to fully defend here, mostly because I should be able to kill with... A few good attacks. Mm -hmm. All right, Headbutt, Iron Wave. Three copies of Iron Wave is really good. I'm not even going to read out the Searing Blow's name. Remove Transformer Upgrade. I think... So I can't upgrade anything. So upgrading might be a good idea. But on the other hand, uh, transforming something will give me three copies of it. And there's honestly nothing that I really need to transform. Like an upgrade eruption is nice, but it's not going to solve all my problems. And it's going to be pretty much useless after Act 2. But fine, fine. It's my only opportunity to upgrade something, so might as well. Okay. All right, got the lice here. Um, let's defend fully. And then I'll play an attack. Okay. Mm, and then eruption, double strike to kill. Good. All right, Armament, Searing Blow, Warcry. Well, since I can't upgrade anything, Armaments might be a good substitution for that, so let's take it. Move a card. Um, I mean, my deck is going to get so large. I guess I can remove a basic, I don't know, basic strike, basic defend, a basic zap. Yeah, I probably don't need the zap. Yeah, it, it would work better if I uh, at the defect or any other orb synergies. Okay, so let me do this, upgrade this, and then do strike. That might have been a little unnecessary, but it's good to have the habit of playing correctly. So I won't be able to full it or uh, kill with the eruption, so let's not play that. I'll do defend and strike. Mm -hmm. Another seven, two iron waves, and a strike. Okay. All right, and then 11... Um, yeah, again, two Iron Waves. And, uh, actually, since I should be able to kill next turn... Wait, did I defend for too much? No, no, yeah, since I should be able to kill, might as well fully defend. Uh, yeah, let's get an early collector bonus on the Iron Waves. Why not? I mean, it's a great card, so might as well have multiple copies of it. At Lagavulin. Um, I probably want to play Armaments a few times. Uh, like here. This one is actually going to be a little tough to perfect. I guess I have the Iron Waves, but that those alone are not going to be enough. Let me upgrade the Iron Wave. Okay, next turn, let's try to wake him up. Oof, not the best way to wake him up. I still have a... Oh, I thought I had the Survivor next turn, but fine. Uh, let's do Strike and then the Iron Waves. Yeah, this one might be rough. I just have to get lucky with my draws. So, 18. Um, actually, this is pretty good. So, I have... 7 here, 12 here, and then another 7 would be enough, right? So let's upgrade the Iron Wave and then play that. Good. So far so good. And now I just need to draw the Survivor. Uh, yes. Uh, no. Ah, so close. Not enough, unfortunately. Yeah, I need a Survivor and something else. Ah, that's that's a shame. Alright, since I can't fully defend, I only have 16, I need 18. Since I can't fully defend, might as well do Bash. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely, I think, 
a small chance I could have been able to perfect if I uh, if I got a little luckier, but unfortunately that didn't happen. All right, 18. And actually, yeah, looks like I really didn't stand a chance to perfect this one here. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder if instead of the iron, clad, uh, iron waves, if I took something else, if that would have changed the situation significantly. But it's fine. It's fine. I, I am willing to accept taking damage here. I'm going to enter Wrath just because I'm a little worried about not being able to kill anytime soon. Because it's been taking me a while. All right. Okay, we got Tornithopter. One of you is a potion. Heal 5 HP. Dropkick. I currently only have the Bash as a way to enter um, or to apply vulnerability, right? So I don't think I'll take it. Pummel would be great if I had any extra strength. Yeah, I think I can gamble and try a Pummel and hope I get some strength somehow. Okay, I definitely want to go for Cursor, so I don't think I can take a Mori. And by the way, when you have a Mori, it's not that you get one out of three uh, Curses, but you don't get any of the three Curses, so it'll be a pretty big problem if I get it. Um, Prozenai is interesting, but a little too expensive. Uh, let's instead take the three copies of feed. I'm definitely, well, not definitely, but I'm probably not going to go for the popper modifier. Also, getting an early feed is a huge help. So let's take that. Ghostly armor would be good block. Uh, let's get a collector bonus for armaments. Um, I could take heavy blade, but then I, I mean, I don't have any strength currently. And even taking a rupture is not going to help me because I don't have a way to deal damage to myself. But you know what? Fine. Let's do it. Let's do Heavy Blade and Rupture. Let's make the deck very large. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little worried about the Grumman now because I don't have a lot of um, attacks. I actually, unfortunately, end up taking just a bunch of skills. 14. Yeah, so I could fully defend here, but then there's very low chance of me perfecting. So, I mean, I should still probably try. All right, let's do Armaments, the Ghostly Armor. Play that. I'll be fully defended that way. Okay. Another 10. I don't think I can use the feed, but I can full the defense somehow. Okay. But now, unfortunately, next turn I'll be vulnerable. And I have 27 incoming. Any way I can kill? Nope, nope. See, if I had extra strength. Uh, let's do pummel, strike, have the latest 14, right? Strike and feed is more damage. Okay. Actually, I still have one feed if I can draw it. Ooh. Wow, I, I am dead if I'm not careful. I am afraid I have to uh, play all my defensive cards, right? I don't have enough to kill. So let's upgrade the armaments, upgrade everything else, and then do ghostly armor. Yeah, I'm still taking a good amount of damage here. Wow, did not expect this to go as poorly as it did. But at least I got some extra HP out of it. We got blood vial at the savage combat heal 2 HP, as well as an ancient potion. And yeah, twin strike works. Dual wield is fine too, but let's go with the twin strike. Add Eternal Feather for every 5 cards in your deck, heal 3 HP whenever you enter a rest site. Okay. And then Elite number 3, Lagavulin again. Okay, now I'm getting a little worried. I don't have a lot of HP. Anything I want to wait for? I mean, yeah, probably fine to wait for the armaments. I should have played the Ghostly Armor. There's no reason to lose it. I mean, is there a reason to play the Rupture? Not really, right? I just don't lose HP from cards yet. But there's also nothing better to play, so might as well. Hmm. The other option was to do the Bash. Um, okay, I guess I'll get started with uh, Twin Strike and Heavy Blade. Yeah, very worried at this point. Um, 18, uh, at least I can upgrade everything. Not that that really helps, but fine. Um, Alright, another 18. Luckily, I can fully defend here, so let's do Iron Wave, Iron Wave, and Survivor. Okay. But how will I deal another 73 damage? Uh, let's just play attacks. Yeah, I'm actually very worried. Let me drink the Ancient Potion because I'm afraid I might not survive this one. All right, at least I preserved a little bit of dex this way. Let's upgrade the Ghostly Armor, play that, and then do feed. Okay. Another 18. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to upgrade the Ghostly Armor again to be fully defended. And then Twin Strike. Mm, yeah, yeah, this is this is going to be rough. Let's do Heavy Blade Iron Wave. Now I'm actually going to start to lose dex. Still have 25 damage to go. Uh, let's double up on the Iron Wave and do Survivor. I wonder if that was the wrong strategy. I wonder if it was better to play the Bash. Another 18. All right, Armaments Defend. At least I'm not dead. That's actually a pretty big thing. Pummel is already useless. Okay, I have to do Eruption. Uh, luckily, I can kill that way. Wow, rough fight. 
We got Happy Flower. Every three turns gain extra energy as well as the Blessing of the Forge. And yeah, let's go for the Collector Bonus on Twin Strike. I should sort A to Z. I have a lot of cards that would benefit greatly from having strength, and I just don't have any strength. Maybe Flex would have been a better choice. Transform a card would give me um, possibly not the Collector Bonus, right? So let's transform maybe the Rupture. I took it a little too prematurely. Rampage. Okay, that's. I mean, that's a better strike. I guess I can take it. All right, looter, let me be careful not to accidentally die here. Let's upgrade uh, the Rampage. Defend and Rampage. Okay. Wait, what was the Rampage upgrade? I, I thought it upgrades to deal more damage, but I think... No, no, that was... Okay, that was the wrong thing to upgrade. For some reason, I thought it would give me more damage. Can I actually kill here? So, Eruption, Strike, and Feed would be 41, right? 12 plus 20 is... Um, uh, 12 plus, uh, 32. Yeah, yeah, I can kill with Eruption, Strike, and Feed. Awesome. All right, unfortunately, I wasn't able to upgrade it, but I think that's fine. Headbutt, Exhume, Heavy Blade. Uh, I I would love to take a Collector Bonus on Heavy Blade, but it's too early, and I, it's just not useful at this point. I barely have any strength. Let's go with the uh, Headbutt. All right, at least I am almost back to full HP here. Oh, sorry, realize I'm going to have trouble against the Guardian with such a large deck in particular. Um, do I want to do Eruption? Uh, no, I think I'm going to try to use the Feet if I can. Uh, let us try to kill the Backliner, though. So, Iron Wave, all right. And then, uh, might as well do Rupture. Come. Okay. So, I have three Feeds. I might uh, take the time to, um, be able to kill all of them with the Feed. So, that, I think, might be worth it. Uh, let's do Heavy Blade. That way, this guy... Oh, I'll be weakened, so I have to be a little careful about that, too. Um, let's do Ghostly Armor. Come. Okay. Yeah, so with weakness, um, the feed only does 7 damage. Although, if I upgrade it, would it be enough? 9. No, still not enough, but I can do Pummel. And then f upgrade his feed. Good. Come. Okay. The next I should probably uh, attack the Fat Gremlin. Actually, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, let's do Heavy Blade. That way, I can kill... This guy with the feed whenever I have to. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize I had extra energy. Should have played another attack there. All right, yeah, there's another feed. Good. And then let's do a headbutt. Uh, I'll wait for another feed. Why not? Okay. I will need something more than that, though. Uh, let's do iron wave again. Strike. And I'll wait. Come. Okay. Now I'll speed this up till I get the other feed. Of course, it had to be at the bottom, but at least I can upgrade it, so that's good. Okay, so we got Havoc, Pummel Strike, Clothline. Uh, too many attacks, but I'll take the Pummel Strike. I'm also thinking if I see Perfected Strikes, I already have plenty of strikes in my deck, so that, that'll be very useful. All right, back to full HP. 97. I need to get to 110, but I'm well on my way to that. Okay, so uh, let's do Pummel Strike... And two twin strikes. Okay. Should be able to transform fairly easily next turn. Just need 10 damage. Anything I want to headbutt. Iron wave? No, no. Let me not... Well, hang on. Let's see what the pummel strike gives me. Okay. Uh, so I think I'm going to defend, then headbutt. I'm really worried about blocks, so let's make sure I have another defend next turn. Okay. Nine incoming. Oh, this is great. Get to upgrade everything, and um, I can't do Twin Strike, so let's do the Ghostly Armor, and then Twin Strike, right? Almost forgot about the extra energy again. Yeah, this is what I was worried about, right? Just an unlucky turn. Nothing I can do. Absolutely nothing I can do. Alright, well, if there is nothing I can do, might as well um, play Heavy Blade here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's hard. Well, let's hope that me not perfecting this one will be offset by the large number of collector bonuses that I um, hopefully can get. Yeah, because basically the other option was to not take that many cards, increase the chance of being able to draw defensive cards, but then also miss out on all those possible collector bonuses. Um, so I, I think it's fine. At 32, uh, let's do Heavy Blade. I probably should have played something before playing the Heavy Blade. Nine incoming. Again, there's no real reason to play Rusher. Let's do Armaments, the um, the Iron Wave, sure. Come. And then I'll do Survivor, All right? 16. 
Uh, Iron Wave 1, Iron Wave 2, and Defend. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm not perfecting anyway. Hmm. Alright, I think this is not super interesting. I'll speed this up. I'll be right back. Alright, well, it was pretty straightforward. Okay, Brutality, Demon Form, or Exhum. I, is this the second Exhum I'm being offered? I feel like I remember seeing one. Uh, but no, I think Brutality might be great here, especially if I can get it upgraded. Um, yeah, extra card draw is always nice. Ooh, Curse Key. So here's the problem. If I don't take Curse Key and don't see any other curses, I'll lose 100 points. Because Curse Key guarantees at least two, or I guess two sets of curses, so six curses total. If I do see two non-treasure chest uh, curses, then Black Star would have been the right choice. Let's be safe. Let's take the curse key. I also have to admit the extra energy is very appealing. So gain energy at the start of your turn. One of you open a non bus chest to obtain a curse. Okay. I might even get some collector bonuses with those curses. All right. So one, two, just two elite paths. Um, they split at this point. So then if I take the left side, I'll get no question mark rooms. At least in the middle, I get one question mark. That's actually a little disappointing. I got three early question mark rooms here. I don't need to visit the shop. I'll go for the shop. Yeah, fine. All right, chosen. Uh, let's do Iron Wave. Twin Strike, Twin Strike Feed. Yeah. Okay. Might be harder to use the feed going forward, but I mean, I'll still give it a try. Yeah, I won't wait too much, though, because I think it'll take too much time to cycle through a deck of 53 cards trying to find a feed. Uh, let's do the Iron Waves and a Strike. Yeah. And then another 12 uh, Iron Wave and Rampage kills. Good. Okay, Thunderclap, Cleave, Armaments. I already have enough Armaments, right? So between Thunderclap and Cleave, let's go with the Thunderclap. Why not? It's pre-upgraded, so that's nice. I am totally okay losing one of the Thunderclaps to gain the boot. Whenever you deal 4 or less unlocked attack damage, increase it to 5. Okay. Got the looter and mugger here. Yeah, not happy with how I'm drawing that feed. Strike, strike. I do wonder if I upgrade this. This would be 28 plus another... I think this upgrades to 13, right? The feed? Um, where is it? Feed is... Oh, 12. 12, right. Okay, so what did I say? 28. It'll be 40 exactly. If, uh, is that worth the potion? No, no. Let's save the potion for a boss fight. Or for an elite fight, I mean. Yeah, it's okay. I'll skip out on some of the... HP. Maybe I should keep this guy alive, though, in case I can draw another feed, which seems unlikely, but is theoretically possible. Okay. And then five damage is small enough that, okay, you know what, I'll do Thunderclap because I don't want to take this much damage. Let's do defend. You know what, let's, yeah, fine, let's also just kill here. It's okay. All right, True Grid, Clothesline, Rupture. True Grid is a decent defensive card, even though Rupture would give me a collector bonus, but let's go with the upgraded, pre-upgraded True Grid. A regular fight here. Again, feed on the opening hand. Let's do Thunderclap, Pummel Strike. Um, I think I'll just do Bash and Rampage. I should have done feed instead of the Rampage. Hmm. 15. Okay, this is not too bad. Uh, let's upgrade the Heavy Blade. Play that. Strike and Pummel. Okay. Hmm. Another 15. Uh, let me upgrade the Defend this time. Okay. Sort of hoping for a feed again, but yeah, that's going to be unlikely. All right, let's just kill. Okay. Got a Strength Potion. Whirlwind Disarm Warcry. Three copies of this armor is going to be a huge help, especially on this act. Um, I actually, I'm not sure if I need the extra, the or the Relic. I think transforming two cards might be powerful and would, could give me collector bonuses, but on the other hand... It is a relic. Yeah, fine. Let's take the relic. I usually go for that. Mutagenic strength strategy. Come with three strength at the end of your first turn. Lose three strength again. Might make my first turn really powerful. Okay, 12 incoming. Um, well, I can almost play everything. Uh, yeah, let me do armaments, the twin strike. Then survivor. That way I'll be fully defended. I wonder if I should drink the strength potion. Let me risk it because there is a small chance that I might, that might be necessary to perfect. Yeah. 18. I have 14. Even if I upgrade this guy, it'll be 17, not 18. Well, that's a wasted potion then. Uh, let's do Brutality. 
Heavy blade is 20. All right, let's do this. Yeah, a little unfortunate. I mean, it's hard, right? My deck is pretty large at this point, so it's hard to ensure that I draw the right thing. Let's upgrade everything first. And then I'll do two iron waves and no heavy blade. Okay. Mm, 24. Uh, iron wave, headbutt. I'm not even sure. Let's get a true grid, I guess. And then uh, did I... I thought I didn't play a feed. Let's do heavy blade. Maybe I should have committed and got two heavy blades back because I think that would have guaranteed a kill, whereas now I might not be able to. Um, 24... Yeah, look at that. That's exactly what I was worried about, that I won't be able to fully defend. Yeah, in that case, let's try to... Um, sorry, I mean, I won't be able to kill. In that case, let's try to defend as much as I can. Okay. Hmm. Alright, can I kill with feed here? I do have some extra strength. I can. Awesome. Okay. Alright, we got bronze scale, so I just come with three thorns. This was a strength potion, and battle trance is really good. Spot weakness would be fine, but could also be pretty bad. Let's take the battle trance, especially since it's pretty upgraded. Okay, probably can afford all the relics, right? Lantern, so I just come with additional energy. And Centennial Puzzle, the first time I lose HP each combat, draw three cards. Prismatic Shard would make it harder to go for co collector bonuses, so let's not take that. Instead, I'll take Cleave, Flex, Steel Wield, Metallicize. All of those are good. And let's take a Power Potion. It might come in handy for the boss fight. Do I want the Blood for Blood? Eh, I'm, I don't think so. I think I should be fine. All right, I decided to go in the middle for one more question mark room. Probably don't need a rest site, though. Let's go this way. Okay. All right, Cultist. Uh, can I kill here with the feed? I do have extra strength. Let's do Thunderclap, Pummel. Okay. And then feed. Perfect. All right, and then I'll do Twin Strike and Headbutt as well. All right. Not a bad starter. Six incoming. Let's do Pummel Strike, Twin Strike, Headbutt. And um, I might wait like one turn to see if I can draw another feed, but that's going to be definitely a challenge. All right, it was a try. Okay, got a fear push, which I don't think I'll take. Per collector bonus on True Grit or on the Brutality. I have three copies of each. So I'm leaning towards... Now, actually, for defense, I should take the True Grit. Actually, no, Perfected Strike. That will deal a lot of damage too, right? Actually, I would have loved to take all of those, but yeah, I have to choose one. We've got three normalities as well as prayer wheel. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. My only hope with the normalities is to have them hide out of uh, in the 82 cards I have. Um, you know what? I'll get rid of the strength potion to the, take the liquid memories. Um, I think I can skip the other two. Okay. Centurion and Mystic. 20 incoming. Let's do flex. I can play everything, right? Uh, yeah, let's defend, cleave, and then headbutt. I'll probably headbutt the pummel strike. Uh, maybe should have headbutted the cleave, actually. Okay. 12 incoming. Let's do pummel strike. Uh, twin strike. Another pummel strike. I should make a habit of playing the pummel strike first in case I draw the normality. Alright, and then let's just do a rampage here. Okay. All right, eight incoming. Yeah, there's a normality, but luckily I have Perfect the Strike and Heavy Blade for a kill. Good. All right, Rampage and Trench Second Wind. Yeah, let's take the Rampage for the Collector Bonus. And then here, let's get a Collector Bonus for Perfect the Strike. So those should be pretty powerful. I feel like I have a lot of Strike cards at this point. All right, so 10 incoming. Uh, let's do... Kind of want to do Eruption, right? It'll be 12 damage once I play to this arm. Let's see what the Pummel Strike gives me first. Okay, now... Mm, it is risky. I'm not sure. Hey, what? Well, I... Okay, it's either taking... Ten... No, no, let's just... Let, let's avoid the eruption. I mean, it'll be fun, but... Yeah, I think I can avoid it. Okay. And I'll draw extra cards with the damage, so that's fine. 13. Uh, perfect the strike is... That's, that's not a bad amount of damage. A little bit extra strength, and with vulnerability, I should be enough to kill. Um, so let's do Perfected Strike you, and then just kill you. Awesome. Alright, Havoc, Headbutt, Hemokinesis. Did I have enough Headbutts? I don't think I did. Uh, or is it... Uh, Headbutt. No, I just had three. Okay, let's get a Collector Bonus for that. And then I already had enough Iron Waves. Let's now take the Clothe Lines. I think now I have extra energy, so I should be fine with more Clothe Lines. 
All right, so let's do this arm cleave and strike. So far, the Romalis haven't really bothered me too much. Hmm. Six incoming. Uh, I can probably dual wield the pummel strike. Seems like a good idea. Let's do that. Dual wield it and then do one, two, and three. And wow. Wow, look at that. All three, three energy. That's unfortunate. Okay. At least I got zero energy perfected strike. Uh, wait, why am I dealing extra strength here? Oh, because I duplicated the pummel strike. That's kind of funny. All right, let's do pummel strike here and then perfect the strike for a kill. Good. Okay, Havoc, Flex, or Warcry. Should I take the Flex? I forget if I... Yeah, I already have one. Yeah, let's definitely take it for collector bonuses. And then Offering is great. I think I should definitely take it. Pummel would give me a collector bonus, but I think Offering is better. Right, Gremlin Leader. So that of offering rupture is actually much more appealing, but um, I don't have to play it. Let's do. Let's do thunderclap first. Then I think I don't even need to head, but the thunderclap, right? Let's do. I can't really. I have to use. I have to waste my heavy blade and my um, headbutt on the minions, which is a shame. But that's fine. All right, not getting attacked here. Let's do Thunderclap, Pummel Strike. Another Thunderclap and then Rupture. Okay. All right, Backlash not attacking. That's, that was my hope. Uh, and I can kill with the Perfected Strikes. All right, I'm very happy that I went for so many early strikes. I was hoping for a Perfected Strike deck. Got a Kabiko. Your first attack each combat deals eight additional damage as well as another Pummel Strike or Cleave. I believe... I need one set of each. So let's go with the Pummel Strike. Makes the Perfect the Strike stronger too. Okay, next upgrade. Oh, right, no upgrade. Almost forgot about that. Okay, I'm a little worried here. So let's drink the Power Potion. Corruption. It's not that I need energy. Do I want Dark Embrace instead? I I'm worried that I don't actually exhaust. I would love Corruption. Actually, I would love all three at the same time. Feel No Pain, Dark Embrace, and Corruption would have been perfect. But let me see if I exhaust enough cards. I'm afraid I don't. It's a true grid. This arm. The ghostly armor, but they give me energy anyway. And the offering and feed. Yeah, I don't think that's enough. I don't think it's enough for the dark armies base to be worth it. Um, now, corruption is probably fine. Same. It's it's the same reason it's not enough for feeling no pain to be worth it. So let's go with the corruption, I guess. Yeah, okay. All right, let's do flex. Um, I cannot enter Wrath here, unfortunately. Cleave, metal side. I should have played this first, too. I just need to get lucky and draw defensive cards. Um, yeah, this this is, uh, this is not what I meant. Uh, I can't even bring anything useful back, right? Um, now, can I headbutt anything? No. Um, so this upgrades to 7, plus this upgrade is 8, so 15, 18. Uh, I would need 20. If I can't do 18, then I would need to kill both minions, which... The cleave alone will be enough. Clothline, maybe. Uh, let me see if I... Actually, I, I'll have extra strength. You know what? I'm just going to do it. Yeah, fine. Let's just do it. All right. So I'll do flex. Defend. So twin strike is 22. Headbutt is another 16. So that's 38. Uh, that'll kill one of them. And then what can I hit? Well, how? what can I bring back to deal another 39 minus 11? So... 28 by itself. Nothing. Wind strike? 22, not 28. Both line will be 17. It'll be weakness. The weakness would actually be enough. Yeah, I think that will work. So if I get a clothesline back. So let me do twin uh let me do clothesline here. Then twin strike. Then headbutt. Not sure, uh, not even sure what to headbutt. Let's headbutt, I guess another twin strike. And then iron wave. So I am actually fully defended. Okay, good thing I saw that. Had to spend all my potions on turn two, though. Back then I was attacking again, and now I'm done. Yeah, that's just, just sad. All right, let's deal wield the uh, twin strike here. Um, let me feed twin strike one, twin strike two. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing I could have done. Definitely, I definitely tried, and I, I feel I got reasonably close. All right, uh, because I have the boot, I think Pummel is not bad. Uh, Perfected Strike is good. Let's do Thunderclap first. This arm. Might as well do this, then Pummel. 
Then uh, perfect the strike, seventy-five damage. Okay. Mm. Twenty-four. Um, yes, let's do. Well, at this point, since I'm not perfect anymore, it's just a matter of playing a bunch of cards. Okay. Fifty-nine. Uh, yeah, rupture might be a. Actually, yeah, let's do true grid, get rid of the normality, then do rupture, perfect the strike, and another one to kill. Okay, didn't perfect this one again. Got a little unlucky. We got a Dex Potion, Reaper, Impervious, or Brutality. Definitely the Collector Mode on Brutality, right? So look at that. The, I already made up the points I would have gotten by going for Popper. I already have a Collector Mode on Brutality, and... Uh, why did I... Th okay, I'm sorry. For some reason, I thought I already had another Collector Mode on a rare card. But no, it's just a Brutality. Still, I'm pretty happy with that. Ooh, I don't think this is a Rune Pyramid deck. I also don't think it's a Velvet Choker deck. I guess it has to be an Astrolabe deck. I can pick up, transform three cards, and upgrade them. That's actually not a bad idea. Might give me other collector bonuses. Let me transform all the strikes here. Okay, I got three copies of Dark Embrace, which is fine, I guess. Three copies of Exhume, which is not bad. And three copies of Fire Breathing, which uh, I can take it or leave it. I had a weak one at the end, which is fine. I don't have too many powers. Or at least I have powers. So I don't rely on them that much. Three lead path on... Well, actually, it doesn't matter how I get here. Um, but yeah, two leads here. If I get there on the left, I'll get... Uh, four crush marks plus one shop. Plus one guaranteed shop. If I get there on the right, I'll get much less than that. So yeah, let's stick on the left and uh, try to spend all my gold at that shop. Yeah, this is... If I had taken the black star instead, I'm sure I would have been able to get enough um, relics. But I currently don't have enough. Uh, let's upgrade the... Uh, well, all cards... And then, ooh, right, Akabiko Pummel does a lot of damage. Um, I probably want to kill one of the ones that, who's attacking me. Okay. Hmm. All right, 11. Uh, let's do defend. Oh, I just realized. Well, let's see if Offering gives me a way to exhaust. No, I just realized there's no reason for me to play the Offering because I had the uh, normality, but fine. Put the upgraded armaments back. Come. Okay. All right, so here, let's upgrade everything again. Do flex, uh, pummel strike. Uh, I don't think I need to dual wield anything. Yeah, to use the Fido, I would have to hit the last surviving one, so that doesn't make sense. Uh, let's do rampage and then feed. Okay. All right. And the hope is that I get another feed together with some other cards so I can kill both of them. Uh, but that's going to be hard to pull off. Let's do Perfect the Strike Heavy Blade. Yeah, fine. Okay, Blood for Blood Havoc Warcry. I don't have any of these. Let me see if the next one gives me something. I could take another Perfect the Strike just for, to deal a lot of damage. It might help me get the Overkill modifier. But no, no, let's go with the um, Blood for Blood here and here. That's 25 points right there. Okay, Orp Walker, 10 incoming. Uh, yeah, definitely should start with an Akabiko Pummel. Then Clothline, Battle Trance. And I was hoping to defend somehow, but... Uh, let's put the Battle Trance back. I I can kill, but I'm actually... Let's do Rupture. I'm actually going to wait and see if maybe I can... I'll accept the 7 damage and see if I can... Uh, yeah, exactly. Use the feed. Uh, I Let me see if I can upgrade it too with an armament. I cannot. That's fine. All right. Rage, Wild Strike, Pummel Strike. I feel like I picked up enough pum Pummel Strikes, right? I do. I did, yeah. Uh, let's go with the Wild Strike, sure. And that's for Boomerang, Thunderclap, or Warcry. I think I needed one set of Thunderclaps. Yep. Okay. All right, here I got... Look at that. Collector bonus for Normality, as well as Bag of Marbles. At the Savage Combat, apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Okay. And, ooh, Mind Blast would be amazing. Nope. Nope. Dramatic Entrance is fine. I could get a Collector Bonus for Dramatic Entrance, but then my opening hand would be only Dramatic Entrances, which would be... which wouldn't allow me any way to perfect or to defend on turn one. So I don't think I can take it. And I can't take any Collector Bonuses on anything else, so I guess I can just take random cards here. Let's take Trip, which is not bad. Um, even one set of Dramatic Entrances, I think, is too much. Let's go with the Purity, I guess. And then here I'll take Discovery, sure. Uh, it's a shame. Mind Blast would have definitely been a game changer. All right, I think I can pretty much buy everything here. Let's go with Shuriken. Every time I play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. 
Strawberry up and pick up rates from XP by seven. That gives me enough max HP. And Sling of Courage at the start or Stardew Chili combo with two extra strength. Let's also pick up a Collector Bones for Disarm, Dual Wield, Wild Strike, Dark Embrace. I got 100 points in that shop. That's amazing. Um, and you know what? Just for fun, let's take another Perfected Strike. And I don't think any Jack of All Traits. Let's take um, Explosive Push and Fire Push. I might as well. What a great shop. I was able to pretty much buy everything. All right, Reptomancer. Let's start with Brutality, and Akabiko Twin Strike would deal a lot of damage. Uh, I wonder if I should do something else instead. Um, yeah, I might have trouble killing, although I do have a Explosive Push. Yeah, let's do Twin Strike, and without Akabiko, kill this guy. 19. Actually, let me do this and this. That way... Um, uh, that would kind of, I can just use the explosive push and make my life a little easier. Okay. Alright, 39 incoming. And unfortunately, nothing I can do unless I can kill by doing trip and perfected strike. And not just kill, but also get the overcome modifier. Awesome. Got gambling chip. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards. As well as a distill chaos potion. And I feel like I got a collect bonus on flex and headbutt for that matter. Let me double check. So... Flex is, yep, I have it, and Headbutt, I have it too, good. So then let's take Anger. Might get a collect a last minute collector bonus that way. Okay. Yeah, unfortunately, I still need six relics, six or seven relics to get to 25, so that might not be possible. All right, uh, I'll keep the Battle Trance and the Flex, actually. Uh, actually, no, let's do Thunderclap and Cleave. Okay, fine, I still got the Flex. It's like the game wants to make sure I have it. So... Yeah, let's start with Akabiko Flex, then Cleave. Another Flex, and that's enough to kill. Good. All right, Shrug it off, Ghostly Armor, and Flame. I Did I have enough Ghostly Armors? I remember only picking one set, not two. All right, so Collector Bonus it is. And here it has to be Heavy Blade, right? Because I think this arm might work. Oh, no, never mind. I have enough Disarms. I thought I need more. Yeah, let's take the Heavy Blade. And then uh, I guess I have to go left for one more question mark room here. Okay. We got Wraith as well as Nunchaku. Every time I play 10 attacks, get extra energy. It's amazing that I got the Wraith after I got the Gambling Ship because that will definitely help. Okay. All right. So Jawworms. Get rid of... Actually, probably all of these. I'll keep the Pummel Strike just in case I need emergency damage. Um, yeah, let's do Thunderclap with Akabiko. Then uh, this is 19, so I think I should be able to kill one of them. Well, I don't really need to use the feed, but I mean, I have it. Might as well, right? Let's do trip, ghostly armor, and feed. Come. Okay. Hmm. All right. Uh, let's do have the latest surprise on that. Well, I only have one strength, so it's not that much, but it is enough to kill. Good. Got a weakness potion, which I might need for the boss, but I'm happy with the potions I have currently. Already have enough disarms. I think I needed one more clothesline, right? Uh, yes, yes. So let's get a collector bonus for clothesline. And I already have a heavy blade. I don't think I have any war cries. Yep, so let's do... Wait, I, I didn't check thoroughly. Sorry, let me just double check. Yeah, I don't. Uh, let's get the collector bonus for anger. I'm very happy. I feel like I'm getting a lot of collector bonuses. Hard to go for a comma modifier, but look at that. Perfect the strike alone does 100 damage here. That's amazing. All right, let's do flex. Um, I'll do offering. Okay. Um, I might have trouble to fully defend unless I... Actually, even the dex potion doesn't help me here, right? Actually, Iron Wave would do it. All right, so let's do... There's nothing better to use the AKB con. So let's do... Here, go see armor first. Then Iron Wave for almost 200 damage. Uh, not Iron Wave, that was a Perfected Strike. Then Headbutt, Anger. Um, let's do another Perfected Strike. And I'll... Actually, I think I should be able to kill here, right? Or I can kill next turn. 45? No, that kills. Perfect. And White Beast Snatcher Potions. Always a Burn Combat Rewards. And Explosive Potions, I don't think I'll take. Already have enough Iron Waves. Actually, Burning Pack might be better than Fiend Fire at this point. Because I really need card draw. Okay. Get rid of all of these. I don't even. I don't think I even need to go see armor, though. Of course, I drew one. Uh, let's do offering. Okay. 
Then uh, let's do Pummel with Akabiko. That's a lot of damage. Twin Strike 1, Twin Strike 2. Ghost uh, Blood for Blood is 33. That's unfortunately not enough. Never mind, it is enough. Good. Got a Dex Potion. I don't think I need Twin Strike, True Greater Flex. I already have, I think, three copies of all of them, right? I have enough flexes. I have enough true grids. No, I have enough twin strike. I didn't have enough true grids. I didn't realize that. And then palm strike, uppercut, hemokinesis. I already have enough palm strikes between hemokinesis and uppercut. Let's take the uppercut for the weakness. And again, because I don't really need, have an energy problem. All right, nemesis 18. I will get rid of everything so I can have a chance of perfecting or fully defending better. Uh, let me remove one of the rampages here. Oof. My only hope is... Well, I don't think I can kill, right? So my only hope is to play something with the um, the Still Chaos. Let's try it. Let's do um, armaments, upgrade the uh, dual wheel, sure. And then see if this gives me some type of block. Both line, Dark Embrace, Offering. Okay, Offering works. All right, I do need something more than just... Actually, never mind. Iron Wave is enough, right? Because the back line is weakened. Um... I don't think there's anything I need to dual wield, so yeah, let's just do Iron Wave and then um, Leaf, Rampage, Rampage. Ooh, that's not the right card. It's fine, it's fine, no harm done. Mm -hmm. Not getting attacked here, that's lucky. Let's do Flex, Anger, Twin Strike, per uh, Pommel Strike, Twin Strike again. I'm actually not that far off from being able to kill. And here I can just kill with a bash. Good. All right, Ginger, you can only become weakened, as well as a colorless potion. And I already have way too many brutalities. Uh, between Shrug It Off and Havoc, I don't think I ever picked up a Havoc, right? I think it was definitely offered to me quite a lot. Um, I did not. So then I don't remember how many uh, Shrug It Offs. For some reason, I thought I picked up a Shrug It Off, but I don't see it here. Interesting. Okay, yeah, let's pick one up now. Alright, obviously, maybe I shouldn't have picked that up because there's no way I could get the collector bonus for it, right? So, okay, get rid of everything. I will keep the burning pact for the extra card draw. Okay, so shrug it off is good. Uh, let's do, yeah, I, I, let's do flex and then offering. Okay, okay. two ghostly armors. I actually might need both. Uh, let's do ghostly armor one, then pummel strike for 33. Okay, this arm is great. Allows me to play a few powers without being too worried. Okay, one down. Should I do Burning Pact? Um, actually, I think I'm going to headbutt the um, Ghostly Armor back and then play the other one just so it doesn't exhaust. Okay. Still have the Colors Potion, which I'll save for an emergency. Which, this might be it. Yeah, because I can't fully defend here. Uh, Violence, Flash of Steel, or Good Instincts. Good Instincts would allow me to fully defend, so let's do that. Thunderclap, and then Perfected Strike for 91. Let me first do the Pummel, and then... Okay. Hmm. Another 18. Yeah, this is, this was always my worry. Just just not getting enough, um, enough damage. Or enough block in one turn. And not having yet enough damage. That's unfortunate. Not much I can do about that, though. Uh, let's do Dark Embrace, Trip, Perfected Strike for 93. Um, since I'm already not perfecting, although let me see if I can draw maybe one defensive card. Okay. Hmm. And then here, let's do Brutality, Ghostly Armor, and Iron Wave. Okay. Hmm. Eighteen. I think I should be able to kill with the Blood for Bloods, right? After applying Vulnerability. Okay. Let's see what this gives me. Corruption is great. Okay. Ah, too bad I got the disarm a little too late. Or too early, I guess. It would be better to get it now. Okay, so uh, let's upgrade the Rampage. Upgrade the... Or not upgrade. Duplicate the dual, uh, the Headbutt. And then do Rampage 1, Rampage 2. Uh, maybe I should have kept a few more cards so I can True Grid them. True Grid 1. Trip. Okay. Ooh. That's... Well, I knew this could happen. Mm, unfortunate. Okay. 18. Uh, okay, let me start with True Grid this time. 
just to see what I get. All right, and then I'll do ghostly armor, rip, and battle trance. Okay. I guess I have plenty of um, normality, so I, I shouldn't be surprised when I get one. All right, let's do twin strike, twin strike, pommel strike, and then heavy blade. Come, okay. and let me throw the fire push. Might as well. Come. Okay. Ah, just missed the forty-five minute mark. I think I was definitely playing a little slower than I could. Especially since, yeah, just missed it by 17 seconds. That's unfortunate. All right. Let's see how many collector bonuses I got. Se 1674. That's not too bad. But this is without perfecting any of the bosses. I surprisingly did perfect four of the uh, eight elites. I'm honestly surprised by that. But yeah, 21 collector bonuses. I think I, I generally feel I got very lucky with those. And so Ian stuffed curses should have been very easy. Um, I definitely think going for the Black Star would have allowed me to gain uh, 25 relics. So that's another 50 points there. And uh, yeah, other than that, I mean, theoretically, perfecting all the bosses would give you 200 extra points. So 1874 would have been doable. It's just not not with my deck. Okay, so 1874 would have been doable and would have put you on uh, in the top 20. But I ended up, oh, 29th. That's not too bad. I'm only eight points or six points be behind Warpal, which makes me think that Warpal went for a either different uh, path or a different strategy. Um, but yeah, congratulations, Steven. That's a pretty good score. And then Vorpal, I'm uh, actually exactly 25 points above. So that could be just another collector bonus. Um, yeah, interesting. So the fact that Steven is not a multiple st uh, 25, I do wonder if that means that the, the path went was drastically different. Uh, Flicknickum with 15, 49. And I think those are all the names I see. Yeah, I... Um, hmm. I think it all comes down to collector bonuses. I'd be very surprised if anybody was able to perfect any bothas. The problem is you can't really keep a deck thin with Hoarder. And I think the Ironclad, the only way for the Ironclad to really perfect, consistently perfect things is to have a lot of card draw. I think two days ago was, was a run like that, right? Where I had plenty of card draw, maybe three days ago with the Ironclad. Um, oh, right. And I, I, I guess I didn't realize. Sita with 1780. Uh, that's about 100 points. Actually, look at that. That's exactly 100 points more than Steven. But 106 points more to me. So that makes me wonder if both Steven and Sita went, uh, had a slightly different RNG, which was consistent for them and resulted in just maybe more bosses or, or um, collector bonuses perfected. Um, but then me and Vorpal had a slightly different RNG. I do wonder if anybody got Mind Blast because that would be a lot of fun too. Yeah, let me know in comments what happened. Thanks for watching. Bye.